Okay, now I'm going to show you how to use the calc menu on the, on the calculator. Uh, so I'm going to enter in here the equation negative 2x plus 8. I'm going to want to show you uh, something that you can do with this as well here. So here's the calculator. I'm going to go I'm going to jump into y equals. Now this is the, a leftover equation from before. Now what I can do here, I just want to show you a couple of the things you can do here. I could simply retype over this. I could press clear. Okay, I could press clear right here and eliminate that. But I want to show you something else you can do here. Um, I can simply put the cursor over this right here. I want to graph uh, 2x plus 8. So I'm going to put the cursor right there. I'm just going to press the delete button and then the delete button again. So now I've got it at 2x. Okay. I can come over to 3 and I can simply type 8 over top of it. I don't have to delete it. Now something else that you, that you should know what the calculator can do. If I move over here, like I want to I graph the function, I believe I've got it down here, negative 2x plus 8. So what I need to do here is put a negative in front. Well, the opposite of delete is insert, which is just above here. So if I press second delete, okay, now the cursor is waiting here. That, that, the 2 is blinking. Whatever I press is now going to be inserted in front of that. So I'm going to press the, the negative sign down here, not subtraction. It's going to be the negative. So down here I'm going to press the negative sign and it puts it in front. And now I've, I've entered the equation. Just wanted you to know that you could do that. So now I press graph and there's my line. Now I want to focus your attention on the calc menu. Okay, just above the trace button. If you press trace, what that'll allow you to do is you can move move the cursor across the graph here and it'll it'll follow along that line and it'll give you the points here. But I think a far more useful tool is this calc menu. So second trace to get into the calc menu. And you've got several options here. Uh, right now we're just going to focus on the first two. Okay? The first one is values. So now if you just press enter or press number one, it gets you to this screen right here. It is waiting for you to identify an X value. Okay. So if I plugged in the X value two, okay, first of all it takes me to that point and it shows me what the Y coordinate is. So the coordinates of that point will be two is four. Okay, great. That's that I mean obviously we can see lots of uses for that. But there's one in particular that I want you to be aware of. If I go back into that and go back to my value button here, if I want to find a very specific point on the graph, that point right there, what we call the y-intercept, the point where it crosses the y-axis, this is the point where the x-coordinate is zero. Okay, that's a significant point. That's an important point. So if I press enter now, this is telling me that the y-intercept of this graph is positive eight. Okay, so when the value of the independent variable is zero, the value of the dependent variable is eight. Okay, that's, that's excellent. Now, another tool that you've got in here that's, that's equally important, or arguably even more important, is the zero feature. Okay, now there's some vocabulary going on here. When we, when we talk about the zero feature, what we're talking about here is the, are the zeros of the function. Where does this function, and notice that it is a function, where does this function go to zero? Well, right there. The value of the function is zero at that point right there, and I want to find that. Okay, so really, another word for that is the x-intercept. So the calculator's word for x-intercept is is uh, zero. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move the cursor. Notice what the calculator is asking for: left bound. So the the point that I'm looking for here, and notice I'm going to be just using the left and right arrow keys. Don't use up and down. I'll, I'll show you what that is used for later. That's the point roughly that I'm looking for. So what I'll do here is I'm going to press left a few times to make sure that I'm to the left of that zero. Press enter and it puts a little triangle up here. That's a little boundary point. Now I'm going to move the cursor so that it's to the right, okay, of that zero. And I'm going to press enter. And then I get a little, uh, a little uh, arrow up here. So what the calculator is going to do is it's going to bounce back and forth between those two triangles and it's going to find the spot where the y coordinate is equal to zero. Now, it's asking for a guess at this point. You can just press enter to get past that. That, that is designed uh, to help speed up the calculator if you've got a really complicated function here. But we don't. So if we just press enter now, it immediately takes us to that zero of the function 
and we see that when y is equal to 0, okay, which is what I was looking for, the x value is equal to 4. The x-intercept is 4. Now, that's, that's how that works here. I want to show you a mistake that could happen here because you need to be aware of this as well. Let's say we go back into that and press 0. Again, I'm looking for this 0 here, but let's say that I, I do this incorrectly. Let's say that I move the cursor to the left, press Enter, and if I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing, let's say that I move the cursor to the right, but I don't actually go past the zero. Like, the, the Y coordinate here on my left bound was positive. Well, my Y coordinate is still positive. If I press Enter right now, there is no, the X intercept is not in between those two zeros here, uh, those two arrows here. If I press Enter now just to get past the guess, I get error, no sign change. What that's telling me is that, uh, my, my little triangles here were both on either the positive side of that, that intercept or on the negative side of that intercept. I need one of those to be above it, one of them to be below it, and that's, that's what that means, okay?